G'day guys, welcome back. I have got my new mold that I made. I'm so, so happy with this one. You've seen I've done previous ones, um, but this one I managed to get no sort of rough edges around the outside because you know how the other one I did, I had all this overflow silicone and I had to cut it. Well, this one is pretty pretty perfect like you know it's homemade it is an individual it's not mass produced so it's always going to have tiny little things maybe that aren't perfect like um you know um ones made in a factory but i am really really happy with it so i'm going to try it out with some coasters and we're going to go with some hopefully teals and gold a little bit of blue We'll see how we go. Uh, I've got my resin, got my colours. The navy here, the dark one, is by Art Tree Creations and it's called Deep As You Write. I only want a little, little bit of that around the edge. The gold is, first time I'm using this one, uh, Glitter Gold by Artie Sue. And then this bright blue here is called Electric Blue by Artie Sue. And then we've got this gorgeous turquoise, called turquoise, by Colour Passion. Got my clear and I've got some gold flakes. You can buy gold flakes anywhere. Uh, gold leaf. Uh, this one I got from Eckersley's, which is my local art store. So let's get started without further ado. And I've gone through and I've just made sure with the tape that there's no little bits of fluff in there. I saw a little bit of gold. Got that out. Uh, these are available to buy if you're interested and I do ship overseas. Uh, it's a kilo. It's a lot of silicone. Um, so they are quite expensive to ship because it, it's a kilo and then it's got to go in a package. So it's over a kilo to post, which means it goes in the one to two kilo post slot, which means it's about $40 to post. So overseas if you're in Australia it's only about 15 but if you're overseas it's about $40 which is is quite a lot but then you know it's a it's a big heavy mold but if you do want one just message me on messenger and uh, I can send you a PayPal invoice right let's go first time using it so excited little bit of navy so this mold has got the rock edge because it is the handmade one. Uh, you can see how I made the initial uh, blanks. I've got those up on my YouTube channel. So it has got sort of rock-like edges which makes it look very realistic for geodes. Whoops, dropped it. Um, but yeah, instead of you know just having straight up and down edges, I like it anyway. Let me get that little bit of navy out and we've got a beautiful shiny bottom so to speak. It was really difficult making this you guys. It took me quite a few turns of making blanks because I was sanding the the blanks and I was giving them like a rounded bottom which I shouldn't have. So yeah it was quite a challenge to make them but I am happy that I've done it. Yeah, I'm really happy, really um, happy with the outcome. Right, now I am going to, where's my stick? I just want to make sure that I've got into all those little rocky crevices. Can't see on that side. I'm going to have to come around the other side of the table so I can see. You guys can probably see what's going on on this side. I can't. Just make sure that's all in there. So basically, maybe I hope this is not too much navy, but I'm basically going for a teal and gold. So I've got lots of teal made up. So three quarters of a cup of teal and only had like half a cup of the navy. I'm just going to go around over here and just make sure that it's all in there. 
Oh, look, there's a few spots over there I've missed too. Okay, I think that's that's about it. Okay, so the next colour I'm going to put down is a puddle of gold. And I'm hoping that the gold will kind of push up and sort of over the top of the navy. I might do a few layers. Normally I only do one, you know, puddle of each colour, but I'm going to see what it looks like if I do a couple of puddles, if I've got enough. I'll leave a little bit of gold in there and see if I've got enough. Okay, now my beautiful electric blue. There's a song about that, isn't there? Electric blue. Put a little bit of that in. I don't think my table's quite level. Hang on. Let's see if I can lift this up. Oh, get under there. Put another pop stick under there. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. It'll all sort itself out once I start filling these up. Because I put the level on it, but until you actually start pouring, it's a bit hard to see, you know, whether or not it's actually level. I'll put a little bit more gold just in there. When I put the next layer on, that'll fill in, so I'm not too concerned about that. Let's go with the turquoise. I want lots of turquoise. Might have to make up a little bit more of the turquoise. I couldn't fit any more into my cup. But I have still got some more clear left. So I can make up a little bit more. Where is it? Over there. I put it away. I'll just do half a spoon. All these cups had, um, well, one, this is only a little tiny teaspoon. One spoon if I'm doing half a cup. One and a half spoons if I'm doing three quarters of a cup. And these are only little cups. They're um, four ounce cups, 120 mils. There's a lot of gold in there already. Maybe I don't need any more gold. I was going to put another layer of gold on, but I probably don't need it. Okay, I think that's stirred enough. You can have some turquoise. Hopefully that's the same amount that I put on the others. Okay, um, now let's do just a little puddle of gold. Just a little puddle. As I said, I do want these to be gold and teal. Never done this before, done two puddles. I've only ever done the one and... Look at that, that's sunk already. I wonder why. Okay, let's put a little bit more of the electric blue. Haven't got a lot left, so I'm just going to divide it up equally. I'm going to make sure I don't overfill these, these babies. Okay, um, and now again with a little bit of teal, haven't got much left, so a little bit. I'm trying not to spill outside of where I want it to go. Catch the drips. Okay, now I can have a little look and see which one maybe needs a little bit more. I'll just finish that off. Okay, 
Okay, so that one is done. Oh, I made up for these six coasters. I made, um, let's see, 480 grams of resin. I did. Now, I don't want to use any more navy, so that can go over there. Um, I think we've got plenty of gold. This is what it's doing on the edges. See, that's what I was hoping it would do. Even though I've got navy on the edges, the gold seems to go underneath the blue and then up over the top. So that's what I was hoping for. Hoping, hoping. Um, now, I want to pour some clear in, but that's too full. Right? I'm going to have to get another cup. Um, I just It's really hard to pour if the cup's full because it just kind of all drips down the side so you're better off having them not as full so here we go a little bit of clear oh look at that wish they would stay like that I was hoping this was going to be a like a teal but you know that navy it just takes over even though I put such a tiny bit in maybe I'll have to go again with just the electric blue and the teal because I wanted teal coasters but I'm not getting them <laughs> the navy's taken over but maybe it'll still come through afterwards I'm just going to finish off my clear there's not much left it's pretty much all gone now I've got my gold gold leaf in the middle so I'm not after clear centers for these I just trying to get a beautiful reaction happening um, I think the best thing to do is actually just pour it hey into the middle a little bit whoa that was a big blob and I know I said I was going to do clear top coats with gold in them but I'm too impatient I just wanted to get it all done now but the the top does get covered over you know they're um, gold leaf gets covered over by the other effects that are happening it kind of pushes it all over over to the top which is a bit of a shame but see that's why I thought oh, I should do top coats now have I got another stick clean stick where's my sticks gone all right um I don't think I can get any more out of that I'm just going to try and put a little bit on top just to poke those bits of gold down I still actually have got enough room um, in my coasters to do a little top coat because if you go because um, I, I can see that it's still sort of dipping a little bit which means when I take them out they'll have a little tiny lip so if I wanted to and I still may do this tomorrow when it's set is um, put um, a little clear coat sorry I'm just trying to get a little bit more of this out a little bit of a clear coat over the top with a little bit more of the gold because you know the gold always vanishes and I know I've said it before I should do that but oh, I'm too hasty I'm, I don't want to wait I'm just poking those down we're getting some cool effects, you guys. Look at that circle, that inner circle. What, what's that from? Always amazes me the effects that you get. I'm just piling my cups up. All right, now I'm going to torch. Still quite dark. I was hoping that they were going to be more turquoise. But that navy, oh my gosh, it really takes over doesn't it it really takes over oh look I can see a little bit of electric blue coming through as well 
So it might be all right. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Get off my clean mouldy little dot there. So we are getting some really interesting effects going on around there. Another torch. All right. Well, it's looking pretty. I think that's what I'll do, though. I will put on a little clear coat tomorrow morning um, with a little bit more gold because I have got that little bit of extra room in my molds so that when I put the next layer on they'll kind of dome which means you don't get a lip when you when it domes I don't think that's a hair I think that's just little bits of gold poking through it's deceptive is that a hair yes now look what you've done you've made a made a mark I think if you're going to pull something out try and do it in the same direction as your striations don't go across like that go that way so that you're following those lines look at the striations you guys they're just coming up as we speak my gosh I was going to poke that down but I better just just stop fiddling woman stop fiddling Right, I'm going to turn my um, oh, I'm going to turn my ring light off. Oh, look, I'm just going to zoom you in. I keep forgetting. Why can't someone remind me to do this? Oh, that looks really pretty. Very interesting. Right, let's go down and have a look. I'll see what it looks like with the um, the ring light on. But if it's no good, I'll I'll turn it off. Look at that. I love the striations it makes. So look at the edges. See how the gold is pushed up underneath the blue? We're getting a tiny little bit of that electric blue there as well. So it's going to be changing over the next hour. So I'm really keen to see what it's going to do. And look at that. It's kind of like an eyeball, isn't it? We've got that beautiful round center in the middle there. Of that lighter blue and the turquoise and the gold all mixed together it's a perfect circle it's just bizarre I, I don't know how it does that and then you get that sort of in and out effect from um, from the shape of the mold you know the geode shape so it goes in and out and in and out and then you get those little effects but then you get this beautiful circle in the middle it's just weird how it does that. Whoops. I always have trouble with that overhead light. The camera wants to focus on the white dot. Look at that. It's just amazing. I probably didn't even need the gold flake, you know, the gold leaf. Probably didn't need it at all. But we'll see what it looks like. Um... I'm keen to do a top coat with a little bit of gold though just to finish it off to match the edges because I'll paint those but I'll come back tomorrow and um, we'll see what it's looking like I'll stand over here away from the ring light oh I'm excited very excited love it little bit on the dark side though that navy is still a little bit taking over everything right, I'll leave it at that I'll see you tomorrow good morning I am going to do a little flood coat on these babies my box over there and I've made up my resin. I've probably got too much. But um, I am trying a new resin, actually. It just arrived in the mail. It's this one. U resin. So it's a two to one. Oh, that's the big one. It's, um, this is the one that's normally quite thick. It's not really, really thick. So I think it'll be really good for a flood coat. And the other thing that's really, really good about this 
is if you jump onto U Resin website, the resin cast, I'm using the cast, U Resin cast, because they've got quite a few, but this is the casting one, which is good for coasters. It also is heat resistant to 110 degrees Celsius or 230 degrees Fahrenheit. So you get all that with it and all that. So curing time, so great information. So yeah, having a go at U resin. And I thought because it's a nice thin resin, um, it should give a nice coat. And also the bonus is um you know you can put a hot cup of coffee or tea on these coasters which you know if you're going to do coasters you kind of need them to be heat resistant otherwise what's the point if you can't use them is what i say now let's put a little i'm going to put a little bit of gold in the center because it's all fallen through so let's just do that if i can with my gloves on Try and separate these gold leaves as best as you can. I think that'll do. I really don't want a lot. One more. <laughs> I don't want a lot. Just a little bit in the centre. I always get carried away. Now let's just um, give them a bit of a, a dusting. Um, and use something that's not going to leave fluff. Because I said to you earlier, these this coaster mold that I made, well, it's it's six millimeters deep. And I probably only poured to about five millimeters. So I can actually, I can see that there's a little bit more room. And if I put it some more on, then my coasters will dome rather than have that, um, you know, that lip. So let's do that. Pour a little bit of this in here. And if I've got, I've decided if I've got too much resin, I'll make another flower. Did you see my flower? Oh my gosh, I was so happy with it. I almost cried. Because <laughs> they're hard to do, you know. You watch people do them on YouTube and they look easy, but they're not. That was my first... That was one... Actually, no, that was that was one of my flowers. That was my other one. I did an orangey yellow one. Oh, I don't know where it is. It must be in the other room. Um, but that one I did yesterday so love it yeah i'm not sure where my my yellow ones got to must be in the other room let's stir up this gold leaf so i'm going to pour some resin onto each of them and then i'm going to put a little blob of gold on easy Give them a blow. <laughs> Make sure there's no dust on them. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, here we go. Just going to pour that into the center. I think there's enough room in there that they can kind of spread on their own. So yeah, just a bonus that this is um, heat resistant. I'm not actually going to buy any more resin if it's not heat resistant because I just can't see the point. Like what is the point if you can't use it as a coaster? Okay, there's no point. No point at all. So that come out. Um, right, let's see now if we've gone to the edges. Oops, I think I put a little bit too much in you. Let's take a little bit out. Because I do need to put some of my gold in still. And we'll just push you to the edges. I think I might have put a bit much in. <laughs> Push it through into all the little curves there. You don't really want to go over. You know, you don't want it to flow over because then you'll have sanding to do. So, oops, I did put a little bit much in, I think. I got a bit carried away. 
because it's only only need about a millimeter to fill them just gonna push those all in hardly any bubbles it's a very low viscosity resin this one so you don't get many bubbles the thicker the, the viscosity uh, the more bubbles you get Bear with me, I'll push this in. Almost there. What do you think of them? They look pretty, hey? Still dark. I don't know what it is about me. All my coasters turn out quite dark. I need to do something about that. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm just going to take a little bit out of a couple of them so that I've got room to put my gold in and I'll be right back. Right, let's do some torching and then I'll put the gold on, hey? And hopefully I've left enough room for the gold. These <clears throat> coasters are mounding a little bit now, which is lovely to see. So when I take them out, I shouldn't have any lip to sand. Okay, let's just pop a tiny bit of gold in the centre. Now you need to make sure that your gold is really, really broken up. And like separated and small otherwise you're gonna get big blobs of it it's gonna put a little little bit in the middle because you can all you can already see that there's some underneath but I just wanted a tiny bit to be you know showing through on the top because so it's kind of all it, well it hasn't really sunk as such but the um, resin over the top has closed in over it yeah, that's more like what's happened. So let's just give that a little bit of a, a poke and spread it out like so, so that we don't have any clumps because you don't want to have anything poking through the top. There's a bit much in there, I think. Might have to try and get some of that out. Quite a lot fell in there, I think. And if it's too thick, then you might see it through the top. And you don't want that. So I'm going to put it where I want it. And then I'm going to pour a tiny, tiny little bit more of the clear resin over the top of it. Just to kind of separate it a little bit. Here. And... Um, just make sure that it's smooth on top. So hopefully I've left enough room just to do that. I'm only gonna do this. I'm gonna pour just a tiny bit with my stick over the top. So it's just broken it up. And separating it just a little bit, make it look a little bit more natural than it hasn't just been blobbed on. So just a little tiny bit. Nothing's overflowing yet, is it? <laughs> Hope not. So it just sort of opens it up ever so slightly because you don't want a big clump of it, but you don't want it to spread too far either. Now, I just like it in the middle. Let's make sure that nothing's poking through. How's that looking? It's looking beautiful. I've got a little bit left. I haven't got enough to um, to do a flower. So, all right, let's give this another torch. And then I'll just have a little play with it. Make sure that the gold is all underneath the top coat. But now I have to wait another day to unmold. All right, I'm going to bring you down for a bit of a close up. Can with my gloves on. I'm not taking my gloves off. I'm just leaving them on. So we'll see what happens.
How pretty is that, hey? Now let me see if I can look across the top for you so that you can see how it's mounding or doming, I think is the correct terminology. Which is what you want when you're doing your coasters. There we go, looking really pretty. Quick little pan over all of them and then um, I will come back tomorrow for the unmolding. But um, you'd still want to do some that are going to be a little bit lighter. <laughs> I just can't get the lightness. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's uh, the grand unmolding of my brand new coaster mold. So very exciting. You saw I did that uh, flood coat yesterday. So let's just pop these babies out. I've got my glove on so I don't get fingerprints all over the tops of these. And there we go. Look at that. It comes out beautifully. Let's have a look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at those that blue center there with the striations. And then we've got the navy on the outside. I wonder what the back looks like. Let's have a little look, shall we? Oh, <laughs> that's a lot of gold. <laughs> yeah, I don't tend to like the backs of my coasters. I, I really don't. I always go for the front. Anytime I like the back <clears throat> is when it's, um, a, you know, a 3D flower. So let's get these out. Look, comes out really, really easily. There's no, there's nothing to sand. Like there's no lip. Let's see if we can have a little look across the top. So there's no no lip to sand so yay <laughs> really really pretty now if anybody wants me to make you one of these silicon coaster molds um, I'll just make them to order I don't have them sitting around uh, if you want one just message me and I will give you prices There's a tiny little bit of overflow just there from my my flood coat, so I'll just sand that tiny little bit just with a um, a nail file. Like I won't get my um, Dremel out or anything; it'll just be a, a little emery board, light sanding. Now, postage for these, if you're in Australia, is fifteen dollars Australian, um, and if you are overseas because they weigh so much unfortunately it is $40 Australian because it's a kilo it's quite a heavy mold but um, I can send you a PayPal invoice if you want one just let me know same on the back really really love these again a little bit darker than I was expecting I was going for a turquoise center you can't really see the turquoise through the screen it looks blue but it is more turquoise in the middle there so it starts with a navy and then gets lighter and lighter nearly there oops here we go a little bit of a little tiny bit more of overflow there from when I did my top coat I probably put a little bit too much on but looking really pretty love them you don't have to do a top coat you know, if you want to just fill your your coasters to the top when you're doing them then you can do that but because I wanted to add the gold extra gold leaf I did that top coat so there we go another one all very similar I got a little bit of the gold poking through on the edges there so I'm gonna go and paint these sides in gold now and then I'll get set up and show you the finished product so I'll see you real soon. I'm going to use this. It's a gorgeous gold for the edging. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. <laughs> so anyway, gold, gilding liquid. 
and what I like to do is just pour a little bit into the lid I just find that makes it much easier for me I'll put the bottle there so that you can see it um, I got that from Amazon I think and I'll just put that there and then I'm going to use my old Krylon gold leafing pen because it's empty and I like to use the nib of that dip it in there it's much easier dipping into a little lid than it is into the bottle because I can't see way down into the bottle where I'm supposed to be dipping it right um, so you've watched me do this before struggle with the focus so basically just paint that on I have to go to work this morning unfortunately so I'm going to paint these and then let them dry while I go and jump in the shower and then hopefully when I finish getting ready for work they'll be dry enough for me to set up for my little photo shoot for you so just go along like that it's a gorgeous gold color isn't it I think it comes in a silver and a, a bronze as well you could do two coats if you wanted to I tend to just do one You can, if you've got a little hole or something you can just fill it in a little air bubble or something on the side you can just fill it in am I going am I staying in focus for you so that's, that's basically what you do and then um, I'll just do a little bit of this top edge and then I'll do the rest on my own then I can hurry Whoa, that was way too much. Big blob. Swipe it off. <laughs> and focus again. All right. Just a little bit on the top edge. It's a big blob there as well. Just must have put too much on my little nib there. Oops, and I've got to be careful not to touch it because I've got paint on my thumb. And just follow that around. It's pretty easy to do. I find it easier than using a brush. So I think you can buy these pens like empty. Um, I'm just trying to think what they're called but you can buy them empty and then you can just put your own paint in them because yeah they're much easier than trying to brush this on so basically that's what it looks like oops did I miss a bit there we go all right I'm going to finish these and um, I'll get set up for the, the close-up for you